Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how I do my grid particle effect. Let's get on with it. The only plugin you'll need, an external plugin you'll need, is called Deep Glow for the glow. So here I have an example of a character that's masks. So this is like what I usually do to make my grid stuff. So first off, we're going to add a solid. You can right click here new and then solid or you can just do the shortcut which is control y and then once you do the solid make sure that the solid is below your mask character then after that go ahead and put on the grid effect once you put on the grid you'll get this bland uh, grid you know so what you're gonna do is go to size from corner point bring this down and change it to width slider it doesn't really matter on how much grid you want you can change it later on depends on your preferences so let's say i want something about 50 like somewhere between here don't no need to change here you can change the border if you like but i like mine uh the default then go ahead and add turbulent displays don't worry you don't need a plugin for this one this is built in in after effects so go ahead and turn the amount like 2000 or 3000 until you get this like broken broken grid something something also you can change the size so it goes like from this from many but small gaps to like big stuff so i want to do mine like uh like 100 let's say and then you can go ahead to make it move you can change here the evolution go ahead and keyframe it click u to show the keyframe and then just put like any movements or i don't know let's say 250 don't I don't usually go above like 600 or any more than like 500 since it looks too fast. You can put a graph on it if you want. For example, I'm going to put this graph and it's going to look like this. It's not much right now, but let's get uh, let's get on with it. So after that, after the turbulent displays you can add warp or optics compensation so i prefer mine to be optics compensation i change the view center to the middle of my character for example here and then go ahead and click reverse lens distortion and then just adjust this field of view until you get uh what you want so yeah so this is what it looks like right now so it looks like the grid is coming from our character. Well, okay. Next up is I want to colorize my grid. So go ahead and add gradient ramp. You can do gradient ramp or fill if you want a single color. Or if you want like many colors, you can add four color gradient, which is very colorful. Or another one which is you need the plugin for is called cloud color smooth this one makes it like rgb and stuff if you can see it see it's like rgb you can change the frequency to make it seem more like rgb but i don't really like it i usually add um a simple gradient ramp for example let's add the gradient ramp uh, change the color to wherever you like uh, for the tutorial 6 I'm gonna choose purple and then blue somewhere between here and then like I change the start ramp to depends on what I want for example I want it to be like this you can also animate the start ramp and the end ramp to animate the colors so you can do that as well and for the last effect uh, we're gonna add in deep glow so you can go ahead and bring this up i usually do like 500 for the radius and then for the exposure i turn this up like 
a lot until you see like harsh burns on some of the lines then you see here in the threshold you hold hold your control so you can add add uh, value slowly so hold control and then slowly bring it until like the harsh light is still there but it's not so somewhere between here looks good enough for me then you don't want to unmold this since if it unmolds it's like a very harsh and dark color what i usually do is go to here the mode on the bottom left if you don't have the mode oh wait let me just minimize this to let it show you'll have here it's like a toggle switches modes if it's like this for you, you can just click this to show the blending modes. Yeah, this is called blending modes. Go ahead and click this and then you can choose from add, light, air, and to screen. So I usually put mine to add so it's like uh, bright or you can choose lighten or screen. It really depends. If you like uh, like softer colors, go, go for the screen. If you like dark, go for the lighten. But if you want like bright, go for the add. So for this time, I'm going to use the add. So let's see what it looks like. So not a lot of lines. What you can do is go ahead and go to turbulent and then change the size. You can make it smaller. Oh, that's too small. Oh, for example, like this. Or you can change the amount to lower. So you can lessen the gaps between the grid. You can also put like different effects. For example, I usually put um, I usually put warp to this. Make sure that your warp is um, above the deep low. So yeah, warp and then go to arc and then fish eye. Then go ahead and put it to negative 100. That's what I usually do to make it like uh, the grid is like seeping out of the arc character. So there you there you guys have it. That's how I usually do my grid particle effect or what you call it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any other tutorials that you would want to learn from me, make sure to comment them down below so I can teach you when I have the time. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.